Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Reason. The first scriptural reason why we need the anointing in our lives is so that we can have the empowerment. To subdue the forces of darkness that fight our destinies and that fights the purposes of God. NIS, do you know that God has a plan for this service? And do you know Satan is aware of that plan too? And do you know that if not resisted, Satan will fight tooth and nail to see that God's divine destiny for you as far as your work in NIS is concerned does not come to pass but that is the assignment of the anointing the anointing is the agency that enforces compliance it ensures that the speakings of God comes to pass in spite of the devil Psalm 66 verse 3 say unto God how terrible art thou in thy works he says through the greatness of thy power thine enemies shall submit themselves to thee it takes more than grammar it takes more than human connections it will take power to keep the devil at bay apostle but you see in this commission i'm a sincere person but i'm always being victimized i hope that i'll be able to talk with a few people so they can help me no sir in this kingdom the language that the realm of the spirit understands is power someone shout power, power. let the devil hear you power. say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power as hard as a metal is fire does not run away from it when you put that metal the fire may look weak you can't hold it but let the metal rest there and as long as it rests the fire does not change something begins to happen to that metal until the metal becomes like liquid he makes his angels winds and his ministers flames of fire so when the devil drops anything upon you you are not the one who is changing sooner that situation begins to squeeze until it gives way if you believe me say amen, amen. say amen again we need the anointing to subdue powers. Let me tell you the truth. Whether you believe it or not, whether you agree or not, there are powers territorial, there are powers by bloodline, there are powers by reason of you being on the side of Christ, there are powers by reason of what you are doing, there are powers by reason of your calling that fight you. It takes power to keep them at bay. Apostle have been delivered from every cause in my family. Congratulations. What of the attack that follows your call? What of the attack that follows your being a believer? Do you not know the day you declare the lordship of Jesus? You have drawn a line in the realm of the spirit. There are many people fighting battles they do not understand. Who did I offend? You gave your life to Jesus. It was not only us that saw you coming to the altar call. The realm of the spirit and the altars that tied your loved ones also saw you declaring your all. And they said, so you want to break out of this? Alright, so be it. When Jesus was born as a baby, an attack started immediately. Two years and below, many children died because a special child was born. It has, it's not, you are not the first. As soon as Joseph got to Egypt, that would be the place of his prophetic destiny. Immediately, Satan began to program a woman who came and put him in trouble. And they did not know that the wisdom of God was playing out through that attack until he finally became a prime minister. Please, if you are being rejecting empowerment 
because you think this thing is just for Pentecostals or just for men of God, preachers, missionaries, apostles, pastors. No, you will you will live in a if you will you will allow the devil defeat you in this end time. You need genuine spiritual power. When I say power, I'm not talking of falling down, standing up. The force that compels compliance. Satan is stubborn by nature. The first time God spoke, Satan came to man and said, did God say? When he came to Jesus, he said, are you really the son of God? He will come to you. Are you really blessed? Is it really true that you are free from that yoke? You are not the one who is supposed to answer him. That is the ministry of the anointing. The anointing has been mandated to answer the stubbornness of Satan. That every time Satan says no, your children will not become great. Your stories and your discussions will not help. It takes the anointing to answer him. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. We need the anointing to subdue the forces that fight against our destinies. Fight against the purposes of God over our life. So you are the first who will rise from this family and wipe their tears. So you are the first who will rise and stop this. And the devil tries to attack. But by the power of the Lord, you will resist and you will prevail. Number two, why do we need the power of God? Why do we need the anointing? The second biblical reason why we need the anointing is so that we can fulfill our God-given assignments. So that we can fulfill our God-given assignments and advance the purposes of the kingdom. Please write. So that we can fulfill our God-given assignments. Everyone has a God-given assignment. But it takes power to fulfill that assignment. Jesus himself spoke to the disciples and said, Tarry ye in Jerusalem until ye be endued with power. Tarry. Tarry. That means do not be in a rush to move. I know you have zeal. I know you want to do everything in a hurry. But tarry until you are endued with power from on high. So that we can fulfill our God-given assignments or God-given destinies and then advance the purposes of the kingdom. Jesus himself said, I will build my church. And he says, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That means the greatest resistance to the advancement of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is called the gates of hell. Satan and all his arsenals and the schemings using men, using systems to fight men. Is someone learning? So we need the anointing. It is a risk to try to take on this destiny adventure just with the knowledge of where you are going and without the empowerment to get there. It will be the same thing as knowing, for instance, that you are supposed to go to say, um, let's say, one of the, the parastatals here in Abuja to drive and go down there. Maybe somewhere in Jabi or in Wuse. And then you have a car. Beautiful car. But there is no fuel. How in the world do you intend to get there? The beauty of the car does not become fuel. 
no matter how wonderful the car is, it will need that fuel. For many of you, you have been keeping and admiring beautiful cars that cannot move you anywhere because you have gotten the vision which is the car. But the anointing that empowers that car, it can run, but it is not moving. Hallelujah. So we need the anointing. You need the anointing. You need empowerment. Most of us have bottles of oils in our house, but we do not have the anointing. Because I, had, I told you earlier on, the power is not in the oil. Listen carefully. The power is not, I pray for oils and all of that. So I'm not, I'm not demeaning these things. But I'm saying primarily, the custodian of the anointing, the administration of the power of God resides within the office of the Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Let's begin to tie up because I want us to pray. And this afternoon there will be an impartation. In fact, it is the same oil that we are going to use. If, if we have it, do we have that oil? Please, we can bring it and just keep it here. Let it just soak in this glory. Because something must land upon your head this afternoon. In the name of Jesus Christ. But you shall receive power. That means you can reject it. Anything the Bible says you shall receive. You also can reject it. Sadly many have rejected the power of God to their peril. You shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And that this power will make you to become witnesses to me. Both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. It takes power to be an effective witness. Hallelujah. Please I like you to rest once and for all. In this understanding that you need power. There are people here who are in ministry. You need power. Not billboards. Not posters. Not a social media platform. Uh -uh. All those things are subjective. Without the power of God, you are only wasting your time. Believe me. You are a businessman. More than the, the acumen of economics. Remember that because you are in Christ, there is an extra resistance. Satan himself... So that you don't see someone who you say, well, this guy is not a Christian and he's doing well. The question is, does Satan fight himself? No. Many of us here are business people and it looks like nothing is working. How about your finances? As soon as some areas come or some money comes, some profit from business, mysterious sicknesses, one stubborn child goes to do something and you hear that they are calling you in the police station and you have to now carry a sizable portion of that money you almost want to look at the child and kill him and not know what to do with him for being stubborn and bringing this kind of wastage and before you know it the entire money is gone it is demonic you need the power of god how about disfavor how about shame how about reproach how does someone just sit down and hate you I hope you know it's not normal. I don't know what it is about you, but I just hate you. And for as long as you are in this office, you will not rise. The person who is speaking may just be speaking humanly. But believe me, there is an empowerment making that person have that kind of hatred. So what aspect of your life right now are you lacking the anointing? You know by the results you do not have. Please look up. For some of you, eh, you love the Lord sincerely but that grace for prayer and supplication is not there. When you sit down to pray, even if you sleep for 8 hours, as soon as you say in Jesus name, you will wake up 3 hours later on. Because the devil knows that your, for as long as it does something to your prayer life, you've tried putting your legs in water like you are writing exams. You've tried lying down on the bed. Even while you are standing, you will still sleep. It's an attack. There are others, the grace that opens up scripture. You read everything and you cannot understand. 
when you hear people talk it's as if it's not the same bible you are reading something is wrong how about favor i'm listing this area so that you will know the one that concerns you there are many of us easy things become very difficult because the empowerment is not there you have been building a house since 2000 i'm not mocking you i hope you understand i'm challenging you a three bedroom flat for 10 years has not finished Abba. that is not the way god works there are some of you in a whole day trouble must come and meet you whether you meet it or not you will make mistake and call the wrong number and they will insult you or something will happen you are driving home you will hit the the, the car of of a, a policeman or a military man or an angry person when they want to steal somewhere just when you are entering the shop that's when the hoodlums come so it, this there has to be so it is an atmosphere you are carrying did jonah not enter a boat and because of the atmosphere he was carrying people lost money they lost things let me tell you the truth it is this negative atmosphere that many people carry that's why sometimes prophets in not discerning accurately they will look and say this person you carry a bad spirit or you are a witch what they are trying to say is there is a climate you are carrying that is causing loss and pain to others it's only that sadly for many of them because they are not sound in doctrine the interpretation of their perception is not accurate but that's what they are trying to say there are some of you friends have run away from you because anybody who comes close to you a business that is already working just because they called you and say rejoice tomorrow we are going to celebrate the business goes down it's an atmosphere he said thou anointest my head with oil listen this afternoon when we begin to pray you are going to pray and say lord change this atmosphere i'm tired of this negative thing good people keep living your life because they have discerned that there is something you carry they employ you and the company goes down because you are there the power of the highest shall overshadow you Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.